Pythium aphanidromatum is an oomycete plant pathogen that attacks germinating seeds and has a host range of over 50 crop species. Vermicomposting converts renewable resources into viable alternatives for synthetic fertilizers. Vermicomposts can suppress the disease symptoms caused by some plant pathogens. The more we understand about the biology of these living soil amendments, the more effectively we can use renewable resources for sustainable crop production. Sporangia are a stage in the asexual development in Pythium. Sporangia produce spherical vesicles. Cytoplasm from the sporangia streams into the vesicle where it cleaves into kidney-shaped zoospores. When the zoospores are fully formed, the vesicle breaks and the zoospores are released. When zoospores are exposed to chemical signals released from germinating seeds, represented here by the blue gradient, they use their flagella to swim toward the seed. This behavior is called chemotaxis, or directional swimming using a chemical gradient. When they reach the germinating seed, they shed their flagella and attach to the seed. The encysted zoospores germinate and cause infection. In the presence of vermicompost, pythium zoospores are not able to cause disease in cucumber seeds. We believe this is because the seed colonizing microbes in vermicompost alter the chemical cues released from the seed, represented here by the green gradient. This interruption in chemical signaling means that the swimming zoospores cannot find their hosts and no infection occurs. Sterilized vermicompost offers no protection, indicating that living microbes are essential to this process. Understanding how vermicomposts and other biologically active amendments prevent plant disease will help develop tools for biological control of plant pathogens.